Hey, what's up? Tim Warner here, Tech Trainer Tim on Twitter. Welcome to this little mini series I'm developing called Microsoft PowerPoint for Presenters. Today I'm going to teach you how to animate a table. All right, let's escape out of here and get down to the PowerPoint interface. And the problem space for today is that you've developed a table in your slide. And instead of showing your audience all of the rows at once, which is really the only default behavior, instead you simply want to reveal a row at a time. Makes sense, doesn't it? If I go over to another slide and go over to insert, we can go to table and draw out the table size that we want to start with. We can come to the border of the table, drag and drop to rearrange. We can change the formatting here. We can change the size. Just a little bit of review there. But the long story short is it's always going to come out as a single object, as you see here. How do we fix this? Well, if you watched my other installment of Microsoft PowerPoint for Presenters, I showed you how to animate SmartArt. In that process, you right-click the object, you convert it to shapes, and then you ungroup the shapes. Well, you can't do that here with a table, unfortunately. So again, how do we do this? Let me delete my test slide. Well, it's a bit hacky, unfortunately. <laughs> But I use it all the time in my Pluralsight courses, and hopefully you'll find this workaround helpful. Step one, complete the table. You want to make sure that the table's fully populated, as you see here. Next, we're going to make copies of the slide. We'll do just one. Now, I'm on PowerPoint 2019 for Windows. I'm going to press and hold the right mouse button here. I'm in slide view, single slide view in PowerPoint. Right drag up above the slide, let go, and choose copy that'll duplicate the slide. And I think you know what I'm gonna do, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna delete the bottom row. Now you might have your own favorite way of doing that. Table management in PowerPoint is kind of a pain to be honest. I'm gonna manually highlight or select that final row, right click to bring up this hover menu, and then go over to delete, delete rows. That's what I do. You might have a more efficient way and let us know in the comments of this video. Heck, I want to learn. Let's right drag again and duplicate the slide and do the same thing now. We'll select the bottom row. I'll right click, go to delete, delete rows, right drag, let go, copy, and then we'll remove this final row here. Delete, delete rows. So you see what we've got going on now. If I select the first slide and we go back into slideshow view, I'll advance and we see the table with just the first row, advance, we get the second row, third row, fourth row, and then we're done. Yeah, it works. It's kind of verbose. I tend to like my slide decks to be as compact as possible. And if you have several tables in your presentation, this is certainly going to balloon your presentation. That having been said, understand tips and tricks like sections. If you go over to slide sorter view, you can, or what I do is I'll right click in an empty area, add a section, and you can put the table in its own section. I'll just call this table one. Then I'll do a select the first slide, hold down shift, select the last slide to select them all and drag them down under table one. So now we've got a default section and we've got the table one section. Just some tips and tricks here that you may or may not be interested in. All right, well, let's come back to the title slide so you can see my name and contact info. I hope this brief tutorial was helpful for you. Take good care.